hi in this excel video tutorial i'm going to show us how to create a conditional formatting custom function by combining the xlookup and the lambda function to achieve this operation so let's get started now this is my third video on the new lambda function and i hope you enjoyed the two previous videos if you have not watched the videos you can please go back to my youtube channel watch the videos and subscribe to my youtube channel now let's see our sample data set we have this sales records showing the date customer name account manager the product category the sales amount and in this table to the right we have each of the unique account managers and the target amount for each of them for example the target for abila david is twenty thousand dollars so we want to ensure that for every sales generated by our account manager Abila David, it must be equal to or greater than $20,000, which is the target. And that will highlight that specific sales. And the same thing applies to all other account managers. So let's see how to write our formula. So I'm going to come to cell K2 and deploy the equal sign lambda function and I press my tab key. Now for my parameters, I'm just going to use CF. You can actually use whatever you want as your parameter. Comma. Now I'm going to write my formula. So let's start. Reference the value in cell E2. And because I'm going to use all this inside the conditional formatting new rule, I need to ensure that the column E is made absolute and the row 2 is relative. So I'm going to press F4 key. 1, 2, three okay then use the greater than or equal to operators and then deploy the x lookup function press the tab key for the x lookup lookup value which is the first argument i want to look up this value and of course i'm going to make it to be mixed cell reference by locking down the column not the row f4 key one two three comma and the lookup value is going to be this Lookup array rather is going to be this list from H2 to H12. Make it to be absolute by pressing F4 key once, comma, and the tail is going to be this list and make it to be absolute F4 key once. And I close my X lookup formula inside my lambda and I close my lambda formula. Now I'm going to deploy control enter and I'm expecting the calc error. Before I do that, I'm going to just control A to select the date, the formula, control C to copy, and let's just hit control enter. Okay, that's fine. So the next thing for me to do is to create my conditional formatting custom function in the name manager. So to open the name manager using the shortcut, control F3, and that opens the name manager. Click on new, and for my custom name i'm going to name it conditional formatting and let's just put in a comment conditionally format the entire row of data now for my formula i'm going to just delete this and i'm going to paste the formula i copied then click ok and we have the custom function created and that's all we need to do close again come to cell a to control shift right and down arrow key control backspace to move back up and then in the home tab on the ribbon in the stars group click on condition formatting and we want to set in the new rule so click on that and of course we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format and for this format values where this value is true then i'm going to deploy f3 which opens the paste name dialog box so i click on my custom function now for me to ensure that this thing works i need open parentheses but i'm trying to do that and that doesn't work i don't know what happened okay because i need to do open parentheses and reference the value in cell columns column c rather but it's not working you know i'm trying to open parentheses it's not working. now the trick to force that to work which i discovered is that i'm going to set my format first then you can actually use whatever formatting you want in this case we just use fill 
and let's use this orange color then i click ok now i'm back here so when i come back here and do open parenthesis now it's available so that's a trick that i discovered i don't know why I have to do the format first before the open parenthesis works but that's what i discovered now for my cell reference i'm going to just come to cell c2 control shift down arrow key now this is coming as a absolute cell reference so i need to lock down the column c not the row so f4 key one two and that's all i need to do close my parenthesis and this is the custom function conditional formatting now when i click ok boom amazing this is awesome it worked perfectly so we've been able to create a custom function that can actually work inside conditional formatting this is also it makes sense of our data sets now we can actually see that the target for abila david is actually twenty thousand, but he did five thousand one twenty dollars and because that is lower than the target so it was highlighted let's see fib harding for example the target for fib harding is thirty two thousand five hundred dollars and she did forty one thousand eight nine one dollars and of course that satisfied the criteria and that worked now let's see another one nicholas dean nicholas dean did um forty four thousand plus six amounts but for the target, it just 40,000 and that worked. So this is essentially how we can actually create a conditional formatting custom function that can actually work inside a conditional formatting new rule. This is a new trick and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video so that other people can actually see the application of this Lambda function in the day-to-day -day life. And give some comments, give some likes, because there is more to come. Thank you, and bye for now. Cheers.